This is a short video that's going to show you how to conduct a mediation analysis using the joint significance test. And I'll also show you how you can compute some um, confidence intervals for the indirect effect using the R mediation website. Now, the example we're going to look at today is based around the TV show Line of Duty, in which um, a criminal police officer is interviewed and then they are shouted at until they basically confess. Well, we've done a lot of research at the University of Liverpool that shows this type of interviewing, aggressive interviewing, just simply doesn't work. What we've actually seen is being um, building rapport during interviews is actually the most successful way of getting information. Um, and that's what this data set is basically going to be looking at today. So in the example here, you see you've got a very large data set in which we have a measurement of motivational interviewing, which is motivational interviewing strategies, which are used to build rapport that the interviewer uses. Then we have a measure of defendant engagement. This is how much the person being interviewed is engaged in the conversation. So high scores mean they are more engaged in the process. They are interacting more. And then we have information gathered as our final variable here, which is the amount of useful information for the trial that has been given by the suspect. So a score of nine means lots of useful information. They've you know, confessed to some things, they've given information. Scores of zero mean they've said nothing at all. You've got nothing out of them whatsoever. So what we're interested in is exploring this mediation, this indirect effect. We're going to look at the effect of motivational interviewing on defendant's engagement and the extent to which this influences information gathered. So our IV is motivational interviewing, our mediator is defendant's engagement, and our dependent variable is information that we gathered. We expect a positive association between motivational interviewing and defendant's engagement, and again, a positive association between defendant's engagement and information that has been successfully gathered. So to do the joint significance test, we need to look at the association between motivational interviewing and defendant engagement. And then the association between defendant's engagement and information gathered while also controlling for motivational interviewing as well. Once we've got these regression coefficients, we'll put them into the R mediation website and that'll compute you some indirect effects. So let's have a look at this now. So the first regression is relatively straightforward. It's a simple regression. Is there an association between motivational interviewing and defendant's engagement? So to do this, we just simply go to analyze, regression, and then linear. And all we're really interested in is our independent variable, motivational interviewing. Does it predict defendant's engagement? And that's all we really need to ask. So we just click OK. And then we get our output here. So not too interested in all this um, information we've got here. I'm not going to go into details. It's just your standard regression. What really matters is down here, our coefficients table. So what has this told us? Well, let's look at this coefficients table. And we can see there's a statistically significant association between motivational interviewing and defendant's engagements. It's a positive effect, as predicted, because we've got a positive regression coefficients. So we could just write this off like this. There was a significant positive association between motivational interviewing and defendant engagement. And then we can just write up our regression coefficient. It's a standard error and the p-value. We could ask for confidence intervals for this and so on as well if we wanted. Next, we want to look at the association between defendant engagement and information gathered. So simply, we just need to go regression linear again. Dependent variable is an information gathered now. And we need to control for motivation interviewing. And then the mediator is defendant's engagement. So what we're interested in is does this predict that? We include motivation interviewing because we wish to control for its presence. So then we click OK, and then we get our output again. So what does this tell us? Well, again, I won't go through all this in detail. What matters here is we see there's a significant positive association between defendant's engagement and information gathered 
when we're controlling for motivational interviewing. So when motivational interviewing is part of the regression equation, you'll also note that motivational interviewing doesn't have a significant effect in itself. Again, we can write this bit up. So we could say something along the lines of, furthermore, defendant's engagement was associated with information gathered, reporting our regression coefficient, standard error, and p value again, after controlling for motivational interviewing. However, the next thing that we can do is we could use the R mediation website to do the joint significance test. So this is the R mediation website. Um, you'll see there's a reference for this method as well for mediation analysis confidence intervals and a link to the PDF. It's really straightforward to use. You can see that A, B, standard error of A, standard error of B, the alpha, and then this is the correlation between the A and B path. We leave these two as they are. So this is the regression coefficient for path A. So this is the association between motivation and interview and defendant engagement. And that was 0.19. And then I'm just going to put its standard error in there, which was 0.01. Then the regression coefficient for defendant engagement to information gathered, which was 0.98. And its standard error was 0.08. So all we need to do, we just plug in the correct numbers there and click Submit. And there you go. You can see it's written all up for us. So for the A path of 0.19 and a standard error of 0.01 and the B path of a regression coefficient of 0.98 and a standard error of 0.08, the indirect estimate is 0.186 with a standard error of 0.018. Eight. The distribution of the product of the coefficients method confidence intervals, so these are the confidence intervals, are 0.152 to 0.223. Because they are both positive numbers, they're both above zero, this means there's a significant positive indirect effect. And we can just write this up. So we can just add it to the little write-up before. We can just write the indirect effect was significant and we can report our regression coefficients, its standard error, and our 95% confidence intervals along with it. There's one thing that's quickly worth bearing in mind in cross-sectional studies is um, this mediation analysis doesn't prove causality in any way. Um, it's just simply producing the product of the regression coefficients. We're not actually showing there's a definite causal relationship 